Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, and we're here with former Patriots tight end Jermaine Wiggins. What we're going to look at today is a play from Sunday's game where the Raiders beat the Jets. The Patriots are going against the number one rushing offense in the league on Sunday. This is a little bit different than what they've faced so far. Darren McFadden, 170 yards, including 70 yards on yep. this play. What'd they see here, Jermaine? Well, what you're going to see here is Oakland's going to come out in a three receiver set. They're going to go trips to the left, uh, single receiver to the backside. And what the Jets are going to do, they're going to bring the strong safety down in. And the way they're playing this cover, they play in this defense here, it's almost like a 3 3 defense. Mm -hmm. um, they have one, two, three linebackers, three inside defensive tackles. And so the biggest part of this play right here it's all predicated on this guy right here this is bot Scott the one thing he can't do because he's playing outside the tight end he has to keep contained he's got to make sure the play goes back inside to all the big boys in the middle and the safeties but what the Oakland Raiders do they run this receiver down does a great job blocking here does a great job blocking on this guy here Oakland runs a stretch play and they, using McFadden speed, they take it to the outside. And the key is, like I said, it's Bot Scott. Tight end does a good job. He makes the block. But what he's able to do is make a hook block to turn Bot Scott inside. This strong safety kind of takes a, a lazy angle, which allows the tackle to pin him. The guard in the center double team up to this linebacker. And now McFadden's able to get the corner. And when he gets the corner, clearly you could show this guy can run. And what he does makes it downfield. I believe it was Leonard. I'm not sure, but this safety comes down, misses the yeah. tackle. Next thing you know, McFadden's hitting his head on the goalpost. He's jumping into the black hole. <laughs> but it all started right here, and that's something that the Patriots are going to have to do because what a guy like him back here clearly shows when he gets the corner, it's nobody's catching him. Okay. Now, we saw with the Jets, which play a 3-4 front. Mm -hmm. Now, with the Patriots, they play a 4-3 front. This is going to be Rob Ninkovich. Yep. This will probably be Andre Carter. So the defensive end, what is his responsibility going to be on this? Play? His responsibility is going to be this gap right here. He wants to make sure that's his gap. He's clogging up this gap right here. A, B, C gap. That's his responsibility. Rob's responsibility is that D gap, which is outside here. Make sure he funnels everything back inside. And that's the way the Patriots are going to have to play it. It's going to start with Rob right here being able to say, I got to get upfield. And now as McFadden comes, he has to turn that thing back up inside, which allows the big boys to come in here and you'll have Mayo and Spikes. You'll have Mayo and Spikes in the middle who are going to have to make that tackle right here for one two yard game. I think Spikes is going to be a key because he got a little sloppy in his yep. gap responsibility on Sunday against the Bills and some of their big gainers. So we'll have to see. This is going yep. to be a tough challenge for the Patriots. Uh, thanks, Jermaine. I'm Greg Bedard from the Boston Globe. Thanks for watching Inside the Playbook. We'll see you next week.